huge game changer um, because so far he never spoke or no uh, of the opposition spoke about Amnesty to Nicolás Maduro or anyone uh, of the high government rank. Um, we are talking about a person that the tens of thousands of people who went to the streets this Wednesday are asking to leave and um, also we're, we're talking about a person that has been directly pointed uh, by the United States government as uh, involved, some, uh, someone involved in the criminal uh, activities. So yes, this this is actually um, this is the first time he says this uh, this idea. He expresses this, and this is actually the first time someone asked him because when even when they started with the idea of amnesty, um, they this was never a point of discussion among the people, even among the National Assembly when they uh, passed this law. It was never um, thought of this way. So really, um, and to be fair, he never said, yes, we're going to do it. He said, well, this has to be looked at. I think it was a way, just a way of, you know, trying to, um, uh, uh, you know, try to get to the other side of the road without being completely honest. But Anna, there are, of course, still elements of Venezuelan society and, of course, several foreign powers that still want to try and prop up the uh, Nicolas Maduro government. Well, definitely. I mean, the armed forces, which is basically the the, the step everyone was uh, and and the part of the um, of the game everyone was expecting, um, uh, spoke today. Uh, and Padrino Lopez, who's the defense minister, said directly, "No, we're not recognizing um, Juan Guaido. We're not recognizing this uh, the the way uh, he wants to do things, and we are recognizing Nicolas Maduro and the actual um, government. But the, what does this?" mean? I mean, to, for example, to Congressman Julio Borges, this is not the, the people we saw today talking to Venezuelans, um, the defense minister and the others, they don't represent, according again, according to Julio Borges, who's a congressman in exile, they don't represent the armed forces. They don't represent the truth behind the armed forces. Those um, soldiers that are living the, hum the humanitarian crisis, that are living uh, with hunger, that can't afford to buy food or, or uh, to buy or, or their kids, they can't afford to go to school. So that is the people, according to the opposition, that they're looking for, that they're aiming um, and, they're want, and they're calling to um, support them. So far, yes, it looks like Nicolás Maduro has a lot of, uh, on his side, but Let's not forget, mostly uh, most uh, of uh, the the continent of uh, Latin America um, is supporting Juan Guaido. This means something, definitely.